how to install your plugin. Once you've purchased your plugin, you should get an email that looks like this. If you don't receive it, check your spam folder or any of your junk folders. In it, it will contain a link to the software, which is here, that you can click on to download. Also, you will find the key, the serial key for it. So you go ahead and click on that link. It will download your software to your computer. While that downloads, I'd like to show you on the My Publishing Assistant page. This is your receipt, and once again, you can download it here. Or if you go to My Account, you'll notice that your subscriptions are all listed underneath here, and you'll be able to download from a link here. You'll probably only have one, but I've I've been using this a lot. Uh, also, your serial numbers will be up here. If you have subscription, you can also suspend your subscription through the link underneath your subscription. You can cancel it. And once you hit cancel, you'll notice that you then get a renew button so that you can renew. And once you hit that renew button, you will be encouraged to sign back up with a new payment source. Now let's install the plugin. We go back to our WordPress plugin. We navigate to plugins here. Go to add new. Click on upload. And then we navigate to where we downloaded the software. We hit install. This should take only a few minutes depending on how fast your internet connection is. Now we can see that we have successfully installed a plugin, so click on the Activate Plugin. We then go to Publicist. You'll see Activate My Publishing Assistant. Here it's asking for the serial key, so you'll navigate back to your email. You will copy the serial key. And you will paste it back into this box here and hit Submit. You will see Plugin has been activated successfully. Click here to go back to the Plugin Options. And once you click on that, you are ready to start setting up your plugin. And notice underneath here, you will see a copy of your license key and your subscription type. In this case, it's a full version without a subscription. But if it was a subscription version, you would be able to see your expiration date, which is the same day that you'll be charged for the next payment. Enjoy.